Yeah, this is this is way too light. Oh, oh that's better. <laughs> Last night I was uh, really nervous. Uh, I had a, a lot of uh, anxiety about this yo-yo design. <laughs> this really lightweight, responsive yo-yo. And uh, I thought about it a little bit more while I wasn't sleeping. And you know what, this is not a trip to go make a normal yo-yo. I can make a yo-yo at any time with one drop. This is a chance to go and hang out and test some theories. And do something really radical. And if at the end of the weekend the yo-yo sucks, we still made the yo-yo. Like it still got made, I still get to find out what it's like to have a really lightweight, um, kind of wider responsive yo-yo. So not about just recreating, uh, you know, the Bolt again or the Icarus or whatever. It's like, you know, let's try something new. Let's make something new. Go get it warmed up. I'm gonna look at these numbers some more. Do some stretching exercises. Do some do, do a little bit of yoga, some downward dog. I am in the one drop offices here in Eugene, Oregon. I took a train up here. Uh, we hung out yesterday, designed a yo-yo uh, in CAD, and as of right now, the yo-yo is nothing but numbers, but in about half an hour, uh, it's gonna be uh, numbers in the shape of a, a yo it's, it's not gonna be, the, we're gonna make the yo-yo. So things are off, which is the you know, first part in the morning, the machine's cold, the doors are open, so I would expect things to be a little bit off. That's good. In a matter of maybe 30 minutes, I'm actually going to be able to throw uh, a weekender yo-yo. The shape looks actually pretty traditional. Uh, surprisingly, I thought it was going to look really radically different, but it, it looks like a lot of the other yo-yos here. It's just lighter, and it's going to have a narrower gap and an A bearing. So, you know, in a way, it's kind of a normal yo-yo, and in another way, it's going to be a really risky endeavor. I've been documenting kind of the process uh, in live streams to my Patreon backers, uh, which reminds me that this show is actually sponsored by Patreon backers. Uh, folks like Greg Knowles and Steve Schreiber, a whole bunch of other wonderful people that have sponsored the show for a long time. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to get behind the scenes updates of projects like this, uh, or get entered into contests or discounts on drpopley.com uh, yo-yos, uh, go to patreon.com slash docpop and sponsor the show. Hey, Sean, is the yo-yo ready yet? Wait. Wait, come on, I want the yo-yo now. Wait. Oh, you keep saying that, dude. I want the yo-yo now. Wait. Whatever. Wait. I took your knife right there. And then I have to make you out. And I'm done. That is awesome. I love it. I think you pretty much at that oh, point. Right. Sampler oh, coming right over there. And there's the tempeh meal for you. Thank you so much. I mean, I love how easily it travels. Hey, Sean, is the yo-yo ready yet? Oh, there, it's, it's right there. What took you so long?
So this is hot off the lathe, the very first Weekender. This is mostly just proof of concept, but as far as weight goes, uh, comparing it to like the, the deep state, I'm like really happy. I was terrified that this was gonna feel way too light, just, just freakishly light. But this feels really normal. I mean, it's significantly lighter than a normal yo-yo. Um, I love these rounded shapes. This is so smooth and organic and a real nice high wall. So that's gonna make it easier for catching uh, on modern responsive tricks. I am super stoked about this. I, now that I have like a physical one in my hand, I'm like 100% confident that this is gonna be something fun. So as far as response goes, this is, I don't know if I can shoot the moon, but that might be because of gap. Uh, this response is what I'm looking for right here. There it goes. So the basic idea of the uh, jelly roll is you do a bottom mount uh, and you tug it so it gets stuck and then you're just going to turn your hand and throw it. Ideally, the illusion should sort of look almost like a loop-de-loop, -loop, which is technically doing the same thing. When it comes up, it turns. So I'm just kind of turning it on kind of a, a little trapeze stall. So it's a hop, and then I, in the same motion, turn it. There we go. Jelly rolls. <laughs> jelly, 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 jelly rolls. So the project started off on a train with kind of a rad idea to make a really lightweight, really responsive yo-yo for this kind of new modern responsive style of play. Let's get the gerbil. Let's get the gerbil. I think we nailed it. This yo-yo is fantastic. The 48 hour yo-yo project is coming to an end. I can't wait to do the next one in 2019. For right now, I've got a prototype that feels amazing, it's lightweight, it's responsive, it's unlike anything else I own. And I guess the next step for me is to figure out how to get it into your hands. So if you're interested in following along, you can go to drpopular.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, at docpop. And big shout out to all of my sponsors who help make these podcast videos possible on patreon.com slash docpop. Hopefully this yo-yo will be hitting the market soon because I think it's pretty rad and I can't wait to get it out there. That's it for this episode of Popcast. I'm gonna hop back on a train and just throw the yo-yo the whole time. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Word to your mother. <laughs>